everyone, and welcome to In the Workshed. We are Breaking Character LARP, and today I'd like to talk to you about a little special project that we've been working on. At nearly every single game that I go to, my characters at my LARPs carry too much stuff. At my cowboy games, I have an ammo belt, I've got a bag, I've got a journal in there, I've got paper, I've got my medical kits, I've got my money, I've got my special items, i got prospector gear. Even at my old fantasy game, I would still have an ammo belt around my chest just filled with magical items and pieces of papers and you name it. I wound up having too much stuff at these games, and I've considered buying more bags. I would just be covered in bags at some point. Phil came up with a really good solution. When we were doing the video on the Townsend's uh, magazines for our Christmas episode, he came across a bag in here known as a market wallet. We looked at the price and said, I think we can maybe make that ourselves, and that's what we did. We made our own market wallet, and today I'd like to talk to you about that process. Now, just a heads up, this is not going to be a how-to video, because in fact, once you see how this is constructed, you're gonna realize, oh, this isn't really that difficult to do. Uh, yes, I did film myself doing some of the sewing together, but I didn't want to make this an entirely how-to video. There's are, there are other videos out there on YouTube, and in fact, I followed this website here on how they made their market wallet. So I'm gonna suggest that you go there, and I would like to talk about how I'm going to implement this in a game, in our LARPs. This is our homemade market wallet. Uh, when it was finally finished, it's a little bit over a yard long, and it's under a foot wide on either end. And in the center is your hole to access the rest of the bag. So what you would do is you would take your goods, put them through this hole here, and then you would kind of counterbalance with another item onto the other side, and then right over your chest, like so. And it just hangs right there, and it should Balance, it, balance itself out pretty well that it's not going to drag or fall off on either end. This was a really easy project to sew, and in fact, I would say that if you're trying to get into sewing, this would be a really good place to start. I am not, by any means, of stre any stretch of the imagination, an expert seamstress. Uh, I like sewing little bags and stuff like that. I couldn't do a t-shirt. So this was well within my means as an amateur uh, sewer. It was pretty easy construction. We took a solid piece of fabric, we brought it towards the center, sewed down, left a hole in the center here, continued sewing onto here, and then we just brought it together uh, at the ends and sewed those two pieces shut. So this is actually really strong. We actually threw a brick in here and uh, it will not burst through. So whatever you put in this little bag, uh, it's going to hold up really well. How do I plan on using this market wallet at a LARP? As we said before, a lot of us probably carry a lot of junk, especially if you've been playing at these games for a while, you just accumulate things to carry with you. And carrying something extra, like maybe a bottle of water, or maybe carrying something extra, like uh, breakfast, might be a little difficult for you, and this would be perfect. I love to go out and eat breakfast in the woods at our games. I'll go out there and craft, or I'll go out there and collect resources, and I'll sit on a log somewhere next to a stream and eat my breakfast and trying to stuff a piece of bread or an apple or some water in my normal kit, it's gonna be really difficult. It's very easy to throw a couple pieces of bread, throw your lunch in here, throw it over your shoulder, and there you go. It doesn't add anything to the rest of your kit, it doesn't take up the rest of that space, and when you're done, either just throw the rest of your lunch in here, or if you wanna save some space, you just fold it up. It folds up pretty flat, pretty small, and there you go. It's just another little piece that you have to carry with your kit now. For us, when Phil, Kevish, and I go out for our LARPs, you know, we're, we're filling the car. The whole car is filled with junk. So carrying just a small, another little piece of fabric like this, it's not gonna kill you to put this in your kit with the rest of your things for your LARP. I'm always concerned about genre when it comes to bringing props. I want things to look as in genre as possible. Now, these are actually from the uh, 1700s. So you can get away with wearing these, mainly in any of your kind of pirate games, your colonial games. I would argue that most of your fantasy games, this would be perfectly fine. This is something that a peasant could easily have on their body. I would argue in games in the 1700s for our cowboy game. I'm planning on definitely using these at our cowboy game. I don't think it's gonna be that genre breaking to have a sack like this over your body. A sci-fi game or maybe a post-apocalyptic game, I, I don't know. This. This might be a little bit too much if you're intending to go to a sci-fi game. I'm also planning on making a few of these for our NPCs at our games. LARP runners are always looking for ways to make NPCs feel a little bit more real. So they're always asking for, you know, a, um, 
a holster for their pistol, or they're asking for a baldric or a sheath for their swords, they're looking for clothing. Something like this, I think, would really add to the game, that, that lived-in feel. You guys know me. I want my games, I want my LARPs to feel lived in. I want us to feel like these are real people. I want NPCs to feel like they're real players. So making something like this is just a little bit of extra something to give your NPC. This is something that clearly a dock worker in a pirate game or, you know, a colonial game can, would definitely wear something like this. At a fantasy game, a peasant walking into town begging for the poor would totally wear something like this with some fabric or, you know, something inside here, some food or some items or resources, what have you. This is something that just adds a little bit extra to the game, to the spice of the game. And I, the construction of this is really easy. I went out and actually bought fabric for this because I didn't want to start cutting the drapes of our <laughs> of our set for this. Uh, but I went out and bought fabric for this. You can easily use scraps or thrift fabric to make this. And at that point, you're just putting in time and effort. You guys watch the, the time lapse of this. This doesn't take that long to do, uh, especially for a seasoned sewer, a, a really good seamstress. Um, is there a male version of a seamstress? A well-seasoned sewer could probably crank out a couple of these in a day. Final thoughts on the Market Wallet. Um, it's something that I'm definitely gonna be able to use at multiple games and get a lot of use out of it, so that's number one for me. Um, number two, I don't think that it's going to be war practical. And you guys know what I mean when I say like war practical. You know, having your ammo belt with your ammo, having your holster, having your swords, having your items there where you can reach and throw out throwing weapons. I would never store throwing weapons in this. Um, we struggled so hard to like on the fly grab things out of here on the go. I would highly recommend that you do not use this for ammo storage. Do not throw your spell packets in here. Don't try to fiddle around reaching for a rival ball. You're gonna get killed. That's how your PC dies. I would argue this is something great for a townie though. A, a townsfolk, somebody who, who likes being in town walking around. A character that I usually like to play is somebody who is not really heavy combat oriented, but just likes to live in the world. Again, in a fight, it's not really gonna impede you a lot. It's not If you have it centered perfectly on your body, it's not gonna get in the way of a fight, but the idea is that you don't take this into combat. You see some goblins coming over the hill, you dump this thing, and then you can draw out your sword and your shield. It's, it's light enough, and it's well built enough that it's not gonna hurt. You're not gonna break it. You don't worry about dropping this bag out in the woods. You're not gonna hold your, your valuables in it. You're gonna hold like your bread. You're gonna hold like food and water in here in a canteen. So it doesn't matter if it gets dropped out in the woods somewhere. It's not your $100 bag. It's not your really good expensive leather things. It's just a piece of fabric. So I would argue if you have a character who's very much a townie, somebody who likes to be in town, likes to carry uh, goods with you. I think this is absolutely perfect for you. I love this thing. You will definitely see my characters using this at our next game. And you know what? It's so cheap and easy to make. I'm probably going to make a couple for my friends too. We are Breaking Character LARP and we'll see you next time in the workshed. Thank you very much for watching.